Yo, what's good everyone? Today I'm going to be breaking down some of my favorite tournament or GPP plays for this week 14 NFL DraftKings main slate. Like I always do here with these videos, I'm going to kick it off with a couple of my favorite game stakes, and then we'll dive into some of my favorite individual plays and stakes. With that being said, let's get right into this. And one of the games I like stacking up here this weekend is that game between the Chiefs and Bills. Now initially looking into this, before I even looked at the ownership projections for this weekend, I figured that the Chiefs side of things would be a little under owned just based off of how they've played here as of late. Not the case. Mahomes is projected to be more owned than Josh Allen who's coming in around 3-4% to ownership on the Millie Maker this week. I'll absolutely take advantage of that because I think this is a must win game here for the Bills. So I like stacking up Josh Allen with James Cook and a wide receiver in Gabe Davis and then running it back there with Travis Kelsey. Now this is certainly an expensive stack here. You could probably mix in a Jarek McKinnon on the Chiefs side of things if you wanted to bring down the average salary per player, but this is a game to target in general. There's a lot of shootout potential here, has the highest implied game total on the main slate at 48 and a half points. Like I said, this seems like a must win game here for the Bills, and they have looked much better over the last two weeks with their new offensive coordinator in Joe Brady. We've seen Josh Allen put up seven touchdowns in his last two games, five passing touchdowns, two rushing touchdowns, and as far as Travis Kelsey goes, we know we can play him pretty much week in and week out, but he has played very well against this Bills team. In his last five games, he's averaging eight receptions, close to 90 receiving yards, and 1.2 touchdowns per game. And then another game that I like targeting here this week is that game between the Lions and Bears. Now, Justin Fields is projected to be the most popular quarterback here in Week 14. I think he's absolutely in play. I actually talked about him in my cash plays video yesterday. If you haven't watched that yet, make sure you go check it out. But I also don't mind targeting the other side of this game when it comes to tournaments. Stacking up Jared Goff with Amon Ross, St. Brown, and Sam Laporta, and then running it back with either DJ Moore or Cole Komet, putting Cole Komet here on this graphic. But I like this game in general, implied total of 43 points, that's the fifth most on the main slate. And being that everyone is playing Justin Fields this week, like I said, I'm kind of pivoting away from that on the tournament side of things. Stacking up Goff with his top two pass catchers, which we all are aware of, it's Amon Ross, St. Brown, and Sam Laporta. Both of these guys should see six plus targets in this game, and we know that both have touchdown upside. And then running it back on the Bears side of things, like I said, we could go with DJ Moore. I have no problem with that at $6,500. But I also like Cole Komet in this spot here because this Lions defense has not been great against tight ends this year, allowing close to 13 DraftKings points per game to the position. That's the ninth most in the NFL. Now, folks, before we dive into some of my favorite individual plays and stacks here, if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate that. All right, now diving into some of these individual plays and stacks here, and honestly, another game I don't mind targeting this week is that game between the Broncos and Chargers. Now, hear me out. I've not been a big advocate for Russ this year, but I look at the price at $5,800 this week in this matchup against the Chargers, and I don't mind it from a tournament perspective. We need 23.2 DraftKings points for him to hit 4x value. This is someone who's hit 18 plus DraftKings points in 8 to 12 games this year. That's essentially 3x value, and I do like this matchup against this Chargers defense, who ran 27th overall in defensive pass DVOA this year, while allowing close to 21 DraftKings points per game to the quarterback position. That's the seventh most in the NFL. Now, moving on to the running backs here, and I am going to highlight two more expensive running backs on the tournament side of things this week. I talked about a few cheaper running backs in my cash plays video yesterday, and I'll actually name drop two running backs in the 4K range once I get done highlighting Kamara and Eckler here. Now, let's start with Kamara at $8,200. Love this matchup at home this week against the Carolina. Line of Panthers, where we would need 32.8 DraftKings points for him to hit 4x value. Volume has not been an issue for AK this year, averaging close to 15 rush attempts per game and close to 7.5 targets per game. And we know how bad this Panthers defense has been against running backs all year long, ranking dead last in rush DVOA while allowing 28.3 DraftKings points per game to the position. That's the fourth most in the NFL. Now, next here with Austin Eckler, the Los Angeles Chargers, I think we're all aware that he has hasn't really been living up to expectations this year and still high priced here at $7,600 where we would need 30.4 DraftKings points for him to hit 4x value. Again, if we look at his game log, especially as of late, you're going, huh, I don't know if he can get there. But look, if there is one spot where he can get there, kind of a get right spot, 
Is it not against this Broncos defense, who have been bad against the run all year long, ranking 31st in rush DVOA, while allowing 30 and a half DraftKings points per game to the running back position? That's the most in the NFL. And volume doesn't seem to be an issue for Austin Eckler, it's just been the efficiency, but he's averaging 14 rush attempts per game and close to five targets per game too. Now, if I'm really looking to save some money here at the running back position this week, there are two running backs in the 4K range that I'm gonna sprinkle in my tournament lineups. I'm not saying that they're guaranteed locks or anything like that. They're purely tournament plays, but that's going to be Jarek McKinnon of the Kansas City Chiefs. No Isaiah Pacheco here this week. Clyde edwards alaire is projecting to be very popular, but Jarek McKinnon kind of blew up towards the end of last season. No reason to think he can't get back to that similar role here this week against the Buffalo Bills. And then more of a Let's, let's call this a really contrarian play. Ty Chandler of the Minnesota Vikings, priced at $4,600 this week. Minnesota coming off of a bye in a good spot, playing indoors against the Las Vegas Raiders, who have not been great against running backs this year. Maybe Ty Chandler gets a little more involved in this Vikings offense. Now, diving into the wide receiver plays here, and I have no problem going back to Debo Samuel this week of the 49ers, priced at $6,800 versus the Seattle Seahawks, where we would need 27.2 DraftKings points for him to hit four x value i just love this spot here against seattle a team that he's notoriously played very well against they run zone 82 percent of the time on defense which is particularly what i like when it comes to rostering debo samuel because against zone defenses he's got a 21 percent target share and a 22 percent first read share plus just two games ago he played very well against the seattle team he had seven receptions close to 80 yards and one touchdown in that game racking up 22 and a half draft kings points no reason to think he can can't do that again or even get close to 30 plus. Now, when it comes to sacking someone up with Russell Wilson this week, it's going to be Cortland Sutton for me of the Denver Broncos, priced at $6,100 again playing the Los Angeles Chargers, where we would need 24.4 DraftKings points for him to hit 4x value. Now, volume has not been an issue for Sutton this year. He's seen a 22% target share, 43% of the team's air yards, and a 28% first read share as well. I also love that he ranks 6 in the NFL in red zone targets, and his third in the NFL in total touchdowns among all wide receivers. And again, this Los Angeles Chargers defense has not been good against the pass this year, ranking 27th overall in defensive pass DVOA. And then if I'm really looking to save some money here at the wide receiver position this week, I kind of like Odell Beckham Jr., the Baltimore Ravens. Now, for starters, do keep an eye on the weather out there. I know out east, it's not supposed to be great in general. As of right now, I'm kind of seeing 15 mile per hour winds with some rain involved. I'm hoping that does come down a little bit. I'm not too concerned about the rain, more so about the wind. So again, keep an eye on that. But he's priced at $3,800 this week in a matchup against his former team in the Los Angeles Rams where we would need 15.2 DraftKings points for him to hit 4x value. Now, getting on the field has kind of been concerning for OBJ this year, but he also wasn't on the injury report this week. And with no Mark Andrews, I think he is going to get more playing time here going forward. And this Rams defense runs single high safety at 61% of the time. And it just so happens that OBJ leads this team with a 24% target share and four red zone targets this year against single high safety defenses. Now, when it comes comes to the tight ends here, talked about Travis Kelsey earlier, Sam Laporta, and Cole Komet. I highlighted a handful of different tight ends in my cash plays video yesterday. That's primarily who I'm targeting this week, but I did want to mention Isaiah Likely here, the Baltimore Ravens, priced at $3,500. Yes, I just mentioned OBJ, but I do like Likely at this price as well. He only needs 14 DraftKings points to hit 4x value, and in his first game without Mark Andrews, he saw 16% target share and a 13% first read share, not bad at all for a guy priced here in the mid-3k range and this Los Angeles Rams defense has not been great against tight ends this year allowing 14 and a half DraftKings points per game to the position that's the fourth most in the NFL and then when it comes to a defense this week I know that the Baltimore Ravens and the Cleveland Browns are going to be popular targets but I wanted to mention the Indianapolis Colts here at $3,500 playing the Cincinnati Bengals on the road where we would need 14 DraftKings points for them to hit 4x value because look at their numbers here over their last four games. They've racked up 21 sacks, 
nine turnovers and put up 11, 16, 17, and 26 DraftKings points. Really hard to ignore that, even though they are priced up as a defense. And I certainly don't mind the matchup here against a backup quarterback in Jake Browning, who's taken eight sacks in the three games that he's played. All right, everyone, that is going to wrap up this video here for today. As always, thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch the content here on this channel. If you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate that. Let's have ourselves a great weekend here, folks. Let's win some money on this Week 14 Main Slate. And in the meantime, I'm out of here.